Pastor Bo mentions three individuals in the next verse, and that being Isaiah 48 and verse 16, where he states that the Father is mentioned there, God is being mentioned as the Father there, and then he says the Spirit and Christ. So let's look at this verse closely. And remembering now all else, because this verse is not a, a um, isolated verse. It actually is in the Bible. So what the Bible has to say concerning this should then also make, um, should, should be cohesive. It make, must make sense. So let's go there, Imad, and hear what Pastor Bo has to say. Notice Isaiah 48 and verse 16. Isaiah 48 and verse 16. I hear God is speaking. He says, come near to me. Hear this. I have not spoken in secret from the beginning. From the time that it was, I was there. And now listen to this. And now the Lord God, there's one, and His Spirit, two, have sent me, three. Once again, the idea of three within the Godhead. All right, there you have it. Yeah, so, so, so again, the Lord God and His Spirit has sent me. That's, that's uh, the reasoning the Pastor Board is saying. Um, the, the Lord God is one and His Spirit is two, has sent me. And the reasoning is that God and His Spirit sent uh, Jesus, right? Um, look, First of all, we have to ask ourselves the question, did God the Father and God the Spirit send Jesus, the Son, or did the Father send His Son with His Spirit? Well, uh, allow me first to point this verse out from different translations so you can see for yourself. In, in the ASV, you read, Come ye near unto me, hear ye this, from the beginning I have not spoken in secret from the time that it was, there am I, and now the Lord Jehovah has sent me and his spirit, right? In the BBE, we read it. And now the Lord God has sent me and given me his spirit. In the revised version, RV, which, uh, okay, sorry, I don't have on this desktop. Uh, no, here it is, which says, and now the Lord God has sent me and his spirit, the young literal translation, same thing. And now the Lord Jehovah has sent me and his spirit. In other words, what I'm trying to show, there's only one sender and that is God the Father. God the Father, or as the BBE, the Bible in basic English uh, uh, puts it, and I find that this is the easiest to understand and it's, it's very clear. Now the Lord God has sent me and given me his spirit. I speak Arabic and the Arabic Bible says the exact same thing, right? And I understand it this way to mean that God, there is only one sender and that is God the Father has sent his son and given him his spirit. This is, this is what we read in, in the book of Isaiah. Look at chapter 11. Uh, uh, in chapter 11 and verse 2. And the spirit of the Lord will be resting on him, or read it in the King James, and the spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel, and so forth. There is only one sender. It is God the Father. God sent his son into the world and anointed him with his spirit. It's not that there is God the Spirit and God the Father. They sent God the Son to make three. That's not, that's not how we understand the scriptures. God the Father sent his son and anointed him with his spirit, right? Uh, uh, that's, I mean, in John chapter 17, there's, there's many verses we see, for I have given unto them the words, words which thou gavest me, and they have received them, and have known surely that I came from thee, and they have believed that thou, you, did send me. Jesus was speaking to the Father, and he said, the Father sent me. I mean, many verses in the New Testament, John chapter 5, verse 23, 10, verse 36, and so forth. They all testify that it was the Father who sent His Son into the world, right? Uh, mm -hmm. uh, unless we have any other verse that states that there are two senders, God the Father, God the Spirit, sent Jesus, we have to believe what the Scripture says, that 
the father sent his son. Isaiah is very clear that the spirit of God will be upon his son, upon the Messiah that is to come. So there, there's no trinity there. It, it, it's simply the translation is very clear. If you read it in other translations, God the father sent his son and gave him or anointed him with his spirit. I believe in the next episode, we'll, we'll deal more with this, his spirit. But just on this verse, it's very clear. God sent his son and anointed him with his spirit. There is no trinity there. So Imad, I think Pastor Bo also makes the point that indeed this is a messianic prophecy, speaking of when, when Jesus would be sent. And I think it's John 3 and verse 34, where the Bible says, and the father as he is now sending Jesus to commence his work, uh, his ministry on, on earth, it says the father gave his spirit to his son without measure. For God giveth the spirit, uh, not the spirit by measure unto him. So mm -hmm. this, his spirit, the father's spirit is given to his son. So indeed Christ was sent with the spirit of the father resting is, on yes. him. Yes, that's exactly right. So, that's exactly right. Yes. Thank you so much for clearing that. Um, it's not two senders. It is one. And for those who really want to look at this, please look at all the verses where Christ said who sent him. It's very clear there are, there's a plethora of them. In the Old Testament, even, you find that there's one sender. I, I remember Nebuchadnezzar saying, the Most High God has sent his angel. And... Um, you, you find God himself in Exodus 23, verse 20 and 21 says, um, I have sent my angel uh, to go before you. Listen to him. Um, and so always one sender and Jesus, the one being sent. Thank you so much mm. for, for clearing that one for us. Thank you.